Let's look at problem number five from the homework for section 2.1. A student had a question on how to graph in WebAssign. Uh, let me clear what I have there. Yes. <clears throat> Excuse me. So we have the equation of a line y equal 9x plus 7. It's in the y equal mx plus b format, so we can very easily pick off the slope, which is 9, which I typed in there. And the y-intercept comes from letting the x be 0. So if I let x be 0, put a 0 in place for x, I get 9 times 0 plus 7, which is 7. So notice how I wrote this as an ordered pair. Put a 0 in place for x, I get a 7. For y. Notice I did not need to put in the parentheses for that ordered pair because they already gave them to me. Now we want to graph the line. Well, we already have one point right there, 0, 7. We need another point on the line to be able to graph it. So what I would do in this situation is since my slope is 9, it would end up putting me off of the board if I off of this coordinate system if I did rise over run. So instead of doing rise over run for my other point, I'm going to go ahead and just find another point. So let's suppose I put in a negative 1 in place for x in this line. That would be a 9 times a negative 1, which would be negative 9, plus 7, which would be negative 2. So if I put in a negative 1 for x, I would get a negative 2 for y. So let me show you how we can graph that line. I'm going to grab the line. That's what I want. I'm going to start it here at 7 because that's my y-intercept, 0, 7. And then the other point I found was negative 1, negative 2. And I'm going to plot a point there. And notice how it graphs my line for me. So I use the line feature, picked the first one, marked it on my first point, then brought it over to my second point, and it was graphed. I hope you find this helpful. Let me go ahead and submit it and see if I got it right, just to make sure. Okay, so where'd you go? All right, so everything's good. I hope this is helpful. We'll see you in class. Goodbye.